when I was at school, uh, it didn't exist. And then as I went through my working life, uh, there was no occasion when I would have needed it. I absolutely did not know anything about it, how it worked, or what it was about, or anything, you know. But you know when you hear the words, say, I wonder what they mean by that. You just sort of felt left out, as if you hadn't kind of moved with, with the times. Everything is, seems to be around the internet. It was something that you didn't think you would ever be able to use. It mesmerised you. These people are no different than you and I. They're, they just happen to be older, and uh, in that context, they're as curious, they're as interested, just as much as we are. Older people are most at risk of what they call e-exclusion. In other words, not being able to access goods and services that we take for, for granted. When all of a sudden you're told that you, you can no longer um, go to your bank because it's closed and they're expecting you to get online, there's this um, element of fear. Well, what do I do now? A lot of people had been talking about email and internet and how they'd love to know how to use these facilities. So Dublin City Council um, provided four computers for us and in conjunction with Age Action they supplied trainers and our first beginners course got off the ground. As city manager I'm delighted to welcome the Getting Started programme particularly because it, it marries two initiatives that the council are involved in. The initiative on ageing and older people and the developing a digital Dublin project, which is where we're trying to bridge the digital divide in the city. And it's particularly useful in this context because it's working with older people through our sheltered housing complexes. Uh, and we're also delighted that we've had several agencies involved through the auspices of the City Development Board and there has been great collaboration in that regard. And equally we've had a private sector involvement uh, through the Royal Bank of Scotland. And between the volunteering aspect, between the funding aspect that we've achieved, I think this is going to be a very successful programme for Dublin City. The Getting Started project is a partnership between Dublin City Council and Age Action and involves Dublin City Council kitting out 15 sheltered housing complexes and Age Action providing trained volunteers to train these centres. Uh, initial funding came from the Department of the Taoiseach under the ASC initiative. Uh, we've also got support from Dublin Employment Pact and Dublin City Council itself funds the project. We are putting in computers into a number of our sheltered housing complexes, into the common rooms, and there we are encouraging people to come to learn, and a number of people are very anxious to take this up. It has created a huge amount of excitement amongst the folks who never thought that they would see using computers as something as part of their later life. Well, I never had the opportunity before, you know, and I just felt at my age I was a little bit too old to go to any of the younger places. The fact that I, uh, they were installed in here was a wonderful bonus because, but for that, I, I, I probably wouldn't have bothered. When they were installed in here, I decided I'd like to find out how they actually work. It makes me feel younger than I am because I'm doing something that all the young people are doing. I thought, well, it's time now. You have to just get up and do it. <laughs> I'd always a fear to go near them, you know, just even sitting in front of them, looking at those two and them, and I just thought if I touched anything, I'd break it, you know. Some of the people who actually have already obtained the training are actually paying their bills online, they're accessing the theatre tickets, they're uh, even doing their shopping. The people who are doing the course now are quite confident, they're quite happy, they're, they are making, making progress every day um, and because the computers are here on a full-time basis, people can come and go as they wish. When I'm having my break and I sit there looking at the lady sitting at the computer, it's just so nice, you know, that this has actually started off. Well, I've learned how to send emails, I've learned how to pay bills, I've learned how to look up holidays, I've learned how to read the newspaper. You know, all everyday things that, that weren't accessible to me are now. Oh, the internet is wonderful. I mean, you can look up all kinds of things and you can book tickets for the theatre and um, look up anything that's mentioned. You know, you can search it out and find your answer there. 
The city council itself is offering us a venue. They're providing the technical support, which is a, a very, very important component of, of our training model. I feel comfortable that we'll be partners for a number of years still, and this and our model, our training model, will continue to grow. Even the people who have done the beginner's course are now asking me, what next? You know, and they want to do a follow-up on that. One of our students is really enthusiastic about learning the computer because she has a granddaughter in Singapore and she wants to maintain contact with her. And so now she's coming in saying, OK, Anne, well, the email's fine, but really I'm interested in Skype and a webcam. When can we start doing that? So um, I have to seriously improve my computer skills before I can meet her needs. Dublin Buddy is a portal website for the city of Dublin. It provides uh, information on a wide range of issues in the city, um, like environment, transport, um, culture, and students on the course uh, can sign up for a free Dublin Daddy email and they can keep in contact with their family and friends abroad. Even after four weeks I've got a good basic knowledge now of what a computer can do. So I'm very happy about that. I would recommend this course and do not be afraid of it like I was. Because it's only a machine, somebody told me, so don't worry about that. But it really perks you up. I come up here full of jizz because I'm going to do this new thing in my life. I used to wonder what www dot and dot com meant. And it's great now I know what it means. Oh, I think it's a great service that the Dublin City Council have provided. It's bringing everybody into, you know, into the noughties, as I say. And now that I'm after doing this, it's opened up you know, possibilities. I would recommend to anybody, whatever age. The fear is gone from the computer now. I'd like to thank the participants for having the courage to try. It's not an easy thing when you've never been a part of the, the internet or you've never been a part of technology and all of a sudden you feel an, an excluded part of society. It takes a lot of courage and the participants have really rallied up and they're, they're winning, they're winning the battle.